Burnout sneaks up on people. Say it's a, a person who's in a C-suite person or a middle management, and they've got good recommendations all the time. They work hard. They end up getting paid somewhat to what satisfies their family requests, but they still get burned out. Now, why is that? Do people who are high performers stay high performers, remain high performers, and don't burn out? It's the number one complaint among whether it's an Olympic athlete or whether it's someone who's wanting making who wanted to make their way up the ranks in any type of performance series of opportunities, whether it's in business or whether it's in sports or even in the military, the burnout happens in a way that in your mind, at least I've heard this from many, many clients who we, we've treated for burnout and successfully gotten them back to their job and gotten even raises and better positions and more responsibilities, but handled in a way so that they're not stressed by it. Burnout sneaks up on people. What happens is that they've got a formula that they've been doing, which is something specific or uh, either their sport or for their, um, to say it's a heart surgeon or say it's a, a person who's in a C-suite person or a middle management, and they've got good recommendations all the time. They work hard. They end up getting paid somewhat to what satisfies their family requests, but they still get burned out. Now, why is that? Because you're not pulled forward in life unless you're constantly applying what Einstein called the, and what this whole discipline energy for success is based on, which is the quantum physics of the yin yang symbol, which is the fact that at every moment there's really, you're either expanding or life is contracting. That's physics. It's, it's actually happening that way. And you go along that route, but you're not that aware of what's happening, except maybe you get numbers at the end of the month, or maybe you have numbers that you hit at a certain period of, uh, that you measure. But that that isn't the only number that you need to watch. And they actually did a study. Uh, there was a book written on it um, where they said that, um, I think it has the name Gorilla in the name, that people continuously underestimate how alert and aware they are and some of those people have read that but come to the our programs because most people get lost in a uh, momentum of just what it's like for them to show up every day they've got their pattern down they've got what they're going to do they're going to produce and it should work because it's worked in the past but life is constantly changing the planet uh the universe everything is always expanding now, if it isn't expanding, then what happens with life is contracting and dying. So as human beings or as someone who is in uh, a sport or is a mother who wants to take care of a business plus her family, plus uh, maybe extra education, all of those are add-ons which burn you out when you try to meet your agreements for each one of those things that initially you wanted to do. So it really becomes confusing with people when they're right in the middle of what they thought should be working because it did start working in the beginning, otherwise they would have gotten going. But then once it gets going and the responsibilities, instead of getting less, keep increasing, you have to increase with it. And that's the way this planet was set up. You have to increase your growth up to the speed of life. And everybody, even on all the podcasts for you hear from other people are always talking about making jokes about what's well, as good as you can get. And this is what people do. And this is how life has been. But I mean, it's, it's kind of tiresome, isn't it? To keep hearing how people try and just sort of give up after a certain period of time. And then that's it. Why not, why not have it be something like what we have a testimony after testimony of people who we had one guy who ran a, um, big, big consulting firm like McKinsey. And uh, it wasn't that one, but it was like that. And the joy uh, he had was completely lost. Uh, it was burnt out because of the international basis of how his company had grown and how much work was being required, no matter even if he had access continuously and an EA all the time. Um, 
there's was just too many moving parts. And you're going to say, well, then how many moving parts is the right amount of moving parts? Only one. You. You need to be getting, just like in your sport, able to do more push-ups every day. You need to be healthier every day. You need to be stronger. Your mind needs to be sharper. You need to be more alert to what's going on in your, in your environment. You don't need to be withdrawing from any part of, your, of the what we call the grade eight, your life as it's the creative part of your life, the part of your life where you're getting more intelligent, the part where you're having way better relationships. So being around your staffs and being around your family is so enriching that you get the balance of life, not just you know your numbers each day. And the joy of having way more serendipities and for all the athletes uh, being in the zone and flow on command is really just phenomenal to keep people from burning out. And then we've had so many, and been listening on any time that we have any of our group calls that people just say, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make my numbers this year or this month. And uh, I use the goaling system and the energy application system that all dates back to Laos. So I translated all that over going back and forth for 20 years to China and then got it now into basis with through these coursework that people can raise up their own abilities each day. And that's your birthright to go one way or the other, either keep improving or de de decreasing. But do you think the people around you are going to really want you to improve when they don't know how to improve themselves to keep themselves from burning out? No. So they can't give you any advice. They can commiserate. But they can't really give you any advice. This system has been worked out over 5,000 years and actually not only works, but we have thousands and thousands and thousands of athletes, men and women, both in business and in side businesses and startups that are just thrilled with the fact that they can do it. Because what's inside of you is way stronger than what you realize. It just gets dulled down when you get into this momentum of not being able to see what it's like to have your sensors inside your body, which is what energy for success does, allow them to keep opening and opening and opening so you're growing. Most people, if you look at um, meditation practices and things about relaxation, they're all wonderful. But it still doesn't take care of the problem. It just takes care of some relief of the problem. What if you were made to take on life and make it work and you're excited about taking on problems because you can do it because you've got these energy practices that allow you to grow stronger, smarter, more able. And of course, this all results in more love relationship, free time and financial success. You don't get burnout. You write a book about it. We've had a number of people write books, as you know, who've been through energy for success, and they're still very, very popular uh, on how to really win in whatever it is that you're wanting to succeed in. And it may mean changing from uh, one major goal to two major goals to three major goals. And, you, and when you find out that it's fun to do that, because you've got the ability that you'll sleep better and you'll be able to do your practices, your exercises, everything so that you'll be stronger every day and happier every day, the reverse of burnout. So burnout is a sort of what's like given to our culture as if you've been really good at following whatever everybody else told you you had to do, just work hard and follow instructions and don't get in any too much of a, a upset about too many things and sooner or later will work out, but it doesn't uh, work out because you wear out. It may have come along, but then people go, well, why did you quit? Why did you stop? And they go, I just couldn't do it anymore. I just couldn't go up to work anymore. Just, I was shot. And you do get shot unless you're part of the process of life, which means expanding every day. You have to have this experience, just like Christ said, Without a vision, people are lost. You've got to have this ability to keep looking that each day, which is part of the grade eight that we give you uh, in all the programs, that each day you find a way doing the practices to experience all the positive things that are there without trying to convince yourself they're positive. You actually see them and you get inspired by them. So people go, I didn't even notice how wonderful, you know, my backyard is and my house is and my kitchen is and my car and my children. I mean, I just was so locked in to being burnt out. So 
I am thrilled that people are able to do the Energy for Success programs because in each one of the areas that we're required as human beings to have something to look forward to in each one of those areas, including financial success uh, and creativity and relationships, all of those matter. And when you know you can count on that, you'll sleep good, you won't burn out, you'll stay super uh, creative and you'll come out with the next new thing. And people keep going, how do you keep doing this? And you're going, because I feel great. And, you know, at one time I was doing surgery every day, endoscopic surgery, and then the, and then see patients in the office in the late afternoon. And then uh, in the evenings would do uh, research or the energy for success uh, preparation work for different you know, conferences I was going to be giving or treatments for people that had every kind of uh, problem in the world. And people would say, you're working like seven days a week. How do you do that? I go, it's because it's fun. It's totally inspiring to see everything you're doing just work and keep getting better and keep feeding you back with people's excitement that their lives are now working. It's a big plus when it's win-win. And if you don't have that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn you out. Thank you for being here with us today. I love being with you and the information we've got. We've got so much more coming. So please subscribe if you would like to hear more in-depth information from us. And oh, we've got a gift for you. Please look in the writing below. There's a link for a gift we're going to send you. And there's so many more things we can't wait to send you. So thanks for being with us today.